For this video, we're going to show you how to convert a standard form form uh, quadratic into a vertex form. A vertex form is this form right here, a times in parentheses x minus h squared plus k. Sometimes this is referred to as hk form. And we're going to go from standard form, and we're going to rewrite it in this form. Uh, the one of the biggest reasons we want to use this is so we can actually find the vertex or locate the vertex. The vertex is located in this form at h comma k. That's the x and y coordinates of the vertex. And remember inside here directly on x is always opposite of what you see. So if this is like a negative 3 here, your x coordinate is actually at positive 3. If this was a positive 3, then your x coordinate would be at negative 3. But the k value on the outside is directly uh, the y value of your vertex. This A here ends up being the same A here, so you can also tell about the uh, curve itself in terms of it being inverted, meaning a min or max, uh, or how wide the curve should be. Uh, you see we have an example here, and the easiest way to do this is to substitute a zero in for f of x. There are other ways of doing this where you can do it all on one side. It's a little bit more difficult to deal with. So we're going to go ahead and rewrite this with a zero here. And we're going to rewrite it into this form by completing the square. So we're going to take this 1 and move it over. So it's going to give us 1 equals 3x squared minus 24x. Now we need to factor out a 3 because you can't have a leading coefficient other than 1. So we're going to factor out a 3 here. And that will leave us with an x squared minus 8x. And I'm going to leave a little space here because I want to go ahead and complete the square. So we're going to make a perfect square trinomial here in the middle. So we're going to take half of the middle number, which is 4. We're going to square it, which gives us 16. But on the other side of my equation, we don't want to add 16 because there's a times 3 outside there. So 16 times 3 is going to give us 48. So we're actually going to add 48 to this side. And we'll bring that down as 49 equals 3 times. And now we're going to take this and put it back in its factor form. Remember, this is a perfect square trinomial, so it always factors back into a binomial squared. So we'll take the square of the first one, which is x, half of this middle term, which is going to be negative 4, squared. So if we were to FOIL this out, it would give us that back again. And we're almost there. We have one more step to do. We have to bring this back over here. So when we bring that back over, we bring it back over as a minus 49. And instead of leaving a 0 here, we're going to replace that again with f of x, put it in f uh, function form. So this is our vertex form, and our vertex would be located at 4, negative 49. Now since this is a positive number here, that means our curve is going like this, which creates a minimum point. Therefore, this value right here, which is the y, is actually our minimum value of the function. So for purposes of finding min and max values of the function, which is vertical changes this way, uh, you'd want to look at vertex form of equation. You could also go a step further and solve this using square roots. Um, now that you've got a square here, a binomial squared, or the x inside of a bigger square.